this is Jennifer Kane with Kane Consulting and welcome to our first social media toolbox tutorial. I'm going to go over a couple different simple ways that you can follow a hashtag on Twitter. So a hashtag is a word or series of words that are preceded by the pound sign and they're used on Twitter to kind of identify uh, trending topics that are happening at one point of time. So I'm going to go ahead and get me out of the picture and we're going to do a little bit of work on the screen to see how you can follow a Twitter hashtag. Hashtag. So the first thing that you want to do, um, if you don't have a Twitter account, that's fine. You can still follow a hashtag. Um, if you go to uh, search.twitter.com, which is the uh, a home page for Twitter, you can see what's happening right now. And as you can see underneath here, there is a number of different trending topics. Um, Parks and Rec, which just got canceled. I'm very grumpy about that. So uh, I'm going to put in the hashtag follow Friday because it is Friday and uh, this is a hashtag that people use to suggest a person in their network that, um, they, that you, they think other people should follow. So um, I click that and I have a whole list of results of people who are using the follow Friday hashtag and suggesting people that they can follow back. So I am not, as you can see, signed in to Twitter. Um, this is something that you can just access at any point and see who uh, you who people would suggest that you follow or any other trending topic. The second tool that I that you might want to try is uh, tweetchat.com. Um, again, here you can uh, log in as a user of Twitter or you can just access it without being um, um, without having a Twitter account. So up here is where you enter the hashtag and I'm going to again put in follow Friday and click go and again it's going to show me um, all the different people who are using the follow Friday or sometimes you see this FF um, hashtag in their conversations today. What, one thing that's kind of nice as you can see here is that uh, the, the hashtag uh, conversation or the flow is, is kind of moving in real time so that can be helpful. Um, if you want to you can also um, sign in and what is helpful about this is if you are using your if you're using your Twitter account and you are following a hashtag that you are able to, um, let's say you're following a Twitter chat, which is obviously what this, um, ad, this tool is best used for. If you were to reply to any of these comments, it's going to automatically um, include the Follow Friday hashtag in your response to somebody. So you don't have to keep um, including that every time that you type a response. So that can be nice if you're following a Twitter chat in real time and you wanna jump in um, and you wanna include something in the conversation, you don't have to type that hashtag every time you do that. The third option um, is to use a, a social media dashboard such as TweetDeck. And there's a couple different options for following a hashtag. Um, here's one that I'm just seeing in real time that says Happy Mother's Day. Uh, uh, no, I didn't catch it fast enough. So let's go back in here and let's see if I can slow down the feed that's moving really fast. Um, so here it is. It says Happy Mother's Day. And if I click that, it adds a column automatically over here for Mother's Day. The other way that you can add a column in TweetDeck is to go up to this plus sign up here and, and click on that. And then I can say that, let's say we're going to add a Follow Friday search criteria there and press that and it will add a column over here for for searching for that hashtag. So that's three different ways that you can search for a Twitter hashtag. The first was just to go to search.twitter.com. The second was to use a tool like uh, TweetChat, which is obviously great for Twitter chats. And the third is there's a couple different ways that you can follow a feed in um, a hashtag feed using a, a social, social media dashboard like TweetDeck. So um, with social media, uh, information and tools change very, very quickly. So I would encourage you to check the date on this recording if you're watching it in the future because uh, things change really fast. Um, so if you want to um, get any more information about um, following a hashtag or anything, you can go to caneconsulting.biz and join us in one of our social channels. And if there's something that you would like to learn about and you would like to see us cover in a video tutorial, feel free to drop us a line at info at caneconsulting.biz.